Hello, Advanced Church and anyone else that has decided to tune in today. It's Marie here to bring you a daily devotion. Can I challenge us today with something that Jesus asks us to do? There's a passage that the Lord speaks to me often about, and it's found in John 13, 34 and 35. It says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. A powerful statement that I believe Jesus wants to encourage us to consider seriously in the hour we live in. In a world that is so full of chaos, unrest, sorrow, and loss everywhere, this is a time for us as believers to live what we say we believe. There are others watching us who are looking for answers. What's that old saying? Don't tell me, show me. This is what the world is looking for. Action, not just words. If what Jesus has said in this passage is correct, and I believe that it is because he said it, then the world that we say we want to see come to know Christ won't even believe we are his followers, let alone what we say, if we don't learn to love one another. I am sure many of you have heard others make comments like this, Oh, you church people can't even get along yourselves, so why should I believe what you have to say? Loving one another does not mean we will agree on everything. However, we will agree on what really matters. And one thing that really matters to the Lord is others. Jesus loved us when we didn't love him. He didn't give up on us, but loved us in spite of ourselves. I don't know about you, but I am so thankful that he loved me with all my shortcomings and sins. He loved us so much that he was willing to die for us. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. He calls us his friends. How wonderful is that? Wouldn't you agree that one of the reasons why Jesus would ask us to love one another as he has loved us is because his heart so longs for everyone to know him for who he is, the Savior of the world. Perhaps others can't see him because we're in the way. Jesus forgave us for all our wrongdoing, so why is it so hard for us to forgive others? I know some of the deepest hurts we experience as Christians come from other believers in the church and even at times leaders. It's important for us to remind ourselves that we're all broken, a work in progress, and don't always handle everything the best way. I encourage you to extend grace towards those who have hurt you, just like Jesus extends grace to us every day because we continue to make mistakes. Forgiveness isn't easy, but it is oh so good for the soul. I don't think he would ask this of us if it wasn't possible to do. Easy? Not likely. But if we ask God to help us to love his way, he will. It is a daily choice to forgive and love one another. I'm as guilty as the next one, but oh, how my heart wants to show the world that Jesus is the answer to all of life's questions and that he truly does love them so very much just the way they are. This challenge is not to bring any condemnation on anyone, but rather to encourage us to reflect on what Jesus is asking of us. Let's love one another as he has loved us so that the world will see that we truly are his disciples. Let's pray. Father, I just ask today that you would help each one of us to love the way you love, that we will love others as you have loved us. We know in and of ourselves we cannot do it, but we know all things are possible with you. And we thank you today that you are hearing us and that you want to help us to love one another as you have loved us. I ask this now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless everyone. Have a great day. See you soon.